Well, you guys got another video, should you or should you not defrag an SSD? I made a video the other day called defrag SSDs from command prompt. I probably shouldn't have put the word defrag in the front, but I did by accident. I should have put trim. But hey, what you should know is a lot of these comments here are pretty ridiculous, really, because a lot of these people are assuming or thinking that I actually defragged an SSD when all I was doing was putting a command in which had the word defrag in the command, which I think made people think that you're actually defragging an SSD. But Windows will know the difference between a mechanical drive and an SSD, and it will then use the trim command if it is an SSD to basically trim that SSD rather than defrag it. Now, there was one comment from Graham there on Adamant IT, and he basically said, for your information to the comments, Windows defrag will not actually try to defrag an SSD. And he's completely right. And that's exactly what that video was. Maybe I misled people with the word defrag in the title, which I do apologize. But again, I was putting the command in as defrag in the command prompt. And this may have confused people thinking you're initiating a defrag on an SSD but you should know that it's not defragging and it is using trim on that SSD. And by reading a lot of these comments, I don't think people did understand that. Otherwise, they wouldn't be threatening to report me and report that video. And that's because a lot of these people actually believe that I was actually defragging an SSD and I was actually promoting that in that video, which is clearly wrong. Hopefully we can make it a bit more clearer in this video. So I've got Crystal Disk open and I've got two drives on this machine and they have features listed right here. And both of them have the trim feature built into them, which means Windows will be able to initiate the trim command when you try to defrag the drive, it will use trim on it. It will also read the media, which is the drive and determine that it is an SSD and not a mechanical drive. So whether you're using uh, the built-in optimization tool or you're using command prompt to initiate uh, the defrag, i.e. the defrag, which it says here, defragment drive. And don't panic, it's not going to defrag your drive because Windows has already determined that the media type is a solid state drive, as you can see here. Now, if I plugged in a mechanical drive, it would automatically know the media type as being a hard disk and it would know it's different from a solid state drive which we have listed here. So if we go to the command prompt window and you can see here if I type out defrag this is where the confusion is it's not going to defrag the drive unless it's a mechanical drive so if I put c colon space forward slash o this will perform an optimization for each media type. Now even though we type the word defrag it automatically knows the drive is an SSD and it's running a trim on that particular drive. So for all those people in the comments suggesting it was defragging a drive are wrong. Now if you type defrag space C colon space forward slash L, that's going to just perform a retrim on a specified volume. And this only works for an SSD. Now I've plugged in a mechanical drive, which is a hard disk and the media type is now listed as hard disk. The information on the screen is to make you understand the difference between defragmentation and trim. So hopefully that helps you understand the difference. Now, it doesn't matter what you type, it will know this is an SSD and it will automatically use the trim command on that SSD, even if it says defragmentation. You can see it analyzed the drive and now it's gone into pass one where it's doing a consolidated on pass one and it will do the same thing for pass two and pass free will do the same thing. But then what will happen is it will invoke a trim because it knows it's an SSD and it's basically going to see trim coming up here saying trimmed. And there we go. So either one of those will work. It's basically going to invoke a trim on a SSD. Now, if that was a mechanical drive, it will start to defrag the drive. Windows knows whether you've got a mechanical drive or if you've got a SSD. If we look at the switches you can use here, there's a bunch of different ones where you can use different types. And you can go through here and you can see L is retrim. And you can see uh, there is one there for defrag, 
forward slash D and that will defrag the drive performs a traditional defrag. So you'd have to put defrag and in space C colon space forward slash D and that would invoke a defrag of that drive. But it won't do it because it knows it's an SSD and it will put the trim command in. And you can see it says solid state drive. Windows has recognized this media type as solid state drives. And it's also recognized the hard disk drive. So it knows what to do. And Windows is actually reading the drive itself. So it knows whether it's a mechanical hard drive or whether it's an SSD. Now you can use obviously the software that comes with these actual SSDs. And some of them have really nice software like Western Digital, as you'd expect. And you can see here, we can update the firmware. We can check the health of the drive. And again, we can do a lot of stuff here uh, inside this piece of software. Windows itself will automatically take care of that in the back end. Once you uh, have the drive installed on Windows, it will automatically, you know, optimize the drive. They call it optimizing now or defrag as the tool is known because it is the same tool. It's just been renamed Optimize and Defrag Tool. So as you can see here, the smart reading is here. And here we have the actual command, which is trim. Now, not all drives support this, but this drive does. And it says requests the operating system to immediately free up unused space on the selected device. Enable Windows Trim. And that's turned on. That means Windows will take care of this drive and use the trim command on it. We also have the automatic trim uh, schedule here and we can see it's recommended to run the trim periodically, automatically. Trim will schedule it to be managed by Windows task scheduler. So we can do this daily, we can do it weekly or monthly. I would suggest doing this probably monthly or even uh, longer than that. Some people are worried about, uh, you know, too many writes on the drive will shorten the life of the drive. This drive will last many, many years. I'm talking probably 50 years. If it doesn't break mechanically, it will probably break before the uh, writes run out on the drive. So let's go ahead and we can talk about that a little bit later on. But you can see here when I run it inside the Western Digital Black software, it automatically initiates a trim command through the Windows optimization tool. So it's not going to defrag that drive. For all those people in the comments that kept saying you're defragging an SSD, it's not. It's using a trim command. And probably, to be fair, the title did have defrag in the title, which was probably wrong on my part. And I did mention the word defrag in there because I'm typing the word defrag out, I suppose, my brain being an old brain as it is, just gets so used to saying defrag, but it is actually trimming in the back end. So I do know the difference, and I think you should know the difference as well, which obviously a lot of you people clearly don't know the difference because the trim command is for ATA, which is Advanced Technology Attachment Interface, and it's usually enabled by default in modern operating systems, including Windows 10 and Windows 11, Trim will work with the SSD garbage collection process to clean up any sort of garbage that is left on that SSD and organize and optimize that drive automatically for you in the background. And you can see here, this is a third party piece of software, and this will also know whether it's a mechanical drive or whether it's a SSD. And it will either, uh, you know, defrag the drive using the traditional defragging method, or it will go ahead and optimize the drive and use the trim command to clean up that drive which will literally take you know seconds whereas defragging would take a long time if you've got a two terabyte drive defragging that drive because if it's fragmented is going to take a long time to completely defrag and you can see this has been running for quite some time and it's going to take some time yet to fully defrag that drive using this method and that is the major key difference between a mechanical drive and an SSD. SSDs can be cleaned very quickly, whereas a mechanical drive will take quite a while to defrag and, you know, uh, reconsolidate all of that drive so it works properly. So you can see here running the optimization button as well will trim this uh, drive as well. And that's basically it. So I don't think a lot of people understood this particular thing inside 
uh, that short video. And maybe I sort of got my wording mixed up a little bit and I have deleted that video just because of the amount of hateful comments that I got in that video and I didn't want that. Uh, so I just removed it and I will redo it and I will try to word it a little bit more clearly and so you guys understand the difference between trim and defrag. And yes, I did put the word defrag in the title. Maybe I should have used the word trim, but hey, I'm not perfect. But I know the difference between trim and uh, defrag, and a lot of you clearly don't. And that is the big problem, because you're hating on something that you don't understand, because you was assuming that I was actually defragging the drive. And I did actually mention trim inside that video where I said, and that's using the trim command to trim the drive. But it's only 60 seconds, so... That's the problem with 60 second format for my particular type of content. Now, I've been running this trim command over and over and over again, and people were worried about it shortening the life of the drive. And yes, it will, you know, do more writes to the drive, but I don't think people realized how much terabytes written this drive actually has. And this is just one of the more modest ones. It has 1,200 terabytes uh, written uh, for this particular drive. Let me show you the data sheet for this so you can understand how you can check your drive to see uh, how much terabytes written is on your drive. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of this fact sheet for this particular drive here so you can see. So the two terabyte version, which is the version I'm using here, has the endurance of TBW, which is terabytes written, and you can see 1,000 uh, 200. So what does that all mean? Well, you can check the document. I'll, I'll zoom in in a second and you'll be able to read and understand it. But you can see here, there is the number right here of the terabytes written or host rights for this particular drive. And it's 100% health. That means we have plenty of life left on this drive. How long? Well, if you really want to calculate uh, by all means, go ahead and do so. But you can read this here and it will explain it exactly how long this drive will last. They will give this drive five years or max endurance terabytes written limit for this particular drive, um, whatever uh, occurs first. So if your drive fails within this five years uh, through whatever reason, then you can get a guarantee on it because it says it right there, five years or max endurance limit whichever occurs first so see support and you can go to the support page and again i'm not going to get into the support side of things but terabytes written values calculated using jdec and you can see client workload uh, jes d219 and this varies by product to product so you can check it out but basically if you're looking for some uh, idea of what it is the average consumer right is say 12 terabytes and i've got this information off the internet so take it with a pinch of salt so 12 terabytes a year so 100 years so if you doubled that 50 years if you double the amount of terabytes written per year and again if you're a hardcore user you're going to use a lot of terabytes if you're a very light user you probably won't hardly use any and that will last you a very very long time so for all those people in the comments that was saying I was defragging a SSD is completely wrong. And of course, people often react negatively to being told that they're wrong because it can feel like a personal attack on them. And I'm not trying to do that. I'm not trying to attack their ego or their intelligence. I'm trying to spread knowledge. And unfortunately, uh, by reacting, by putting nasty comments or hateful comments in the comment section saying I'm, uh, you know, telling people to, uh, you know, defrag their SSD is completely wrong. You can't do a lot in 60 seconds. And maybe that's not the format for my channel. But unfortunately, it's the way YouTube is. And I need to use uh, the shorts to promote my channel and push towards 1 million subscribers. And that's the only way I'm probably going to ever get there. So even having defrag in the title shouldn't really have said that I'm defragging the drive because you should have known that it's not actually defragging the drive and it was actually initiating a trim on that drive because it knows that it's an SSD or a hard drive. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. I hope this video has cleared things up. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video. Bye for now.